Hello everybody, this is Panache. Today I will be bringing you a guide to Batrider. I found this replay in very high matchmaking. And, uh, actually, how do you play Batrider? Hang on. Let me just Google this up real quick. Guide, this seems good. Alright, okay, okay, here we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, you know what? This is... I got it. This is kind of confusing. Let's just get it, jump right into the game. So uh, let's grab boots and head to lane. You don't need any regen. Only bad players need regen because only bad players get hit. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. So we want to skill Firefly level 1. That's really important. Whenever I see people skilling Sticky Napalm level 1, I'm like, come on, guys, that doesn't deal damage. There's no reason you would take that skill. So Firefly is just really going to allow us to get as many kills as we want. So here we are in lane. It's going to be... Awesome Juggernaut versus his Vengeful Spirit. So, you know, auto attacking, that's fine. Do whatever you feel comfortable. Here we go. Come for the kill. Just gonna Firefly. Oh, alright, she played this one smart. Now, oh, and we're gonna think about going in again. Blade Fury. Ah, you know, we're not gonna get this kill. Oh well. But if this happens to you, don't worry about it. Batrider is known for his ability to gank. So let's just gank another lane, you know? Help another lane out. So here we found another lane with Witch Doctor and Bloodseeker. So we're going to sneak up behind them. Element of surprise is very important here. Oh, quick pit stop for the shop. We're going to pick up a stout shield. I want to talk about this item. So let's read the item. Stat shield affects block depending on damage type dealt. It can block 60% of damage on blocks of 10 or 20 HP, blocking 10 damage range sources or 20 damage of melee up to 60%. So let's do some math. If a troll warlord dealing 200 damage or 215 damage in his melee form attacks a bat rider with a stat shield, first 25% is taken off from magic resistance and 200 minus 60 of 10 is 276, which is reduced by armor to 146 from Bat Rider's natural armor, but in melee form, the 215 minus 60%, which is 190 damage, is dealt. So, by these math, we can see why this is a good item. So, back to that gang from earlier. Bat Rider previously just bought a stout shield, which we learned a lot about. So, now he goes in, turns on his Firefly, and here we go, dealing damage. Firefly deals damage per second, so every second it deals some damage. That's how that works. So, here we go, it's mana leaking on the Witch Doctor. Getting silenced, but he's still he's fireflies attacking. Uh, okay, well, it looks like uh, looks like Bloodseeker and Witch Doctor have gotten away, which which is unfortunate. But you know, not all gangs are successful. It's totally it's totally okay. So back in the mid lane, we see why Batrider is one of the best turnaround heroes. So here we have an engagement between Vengeful Spirit and Batrider. Batrider is taking some damage. He retreats, but oh, psych! Take that, Venge. <laughs> Boom, pro. Play. That's why this is very high in matchmaking. Ready? Aim? Boom! Headshot! Ownage! Top tower. You know what time it is. It's time for Mind Games! Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So after all these pro plays, you must be thinking, Darn it, Ice Frog, please nerf Batrider. But you know what? Some heroes are a lot harder to use than others, and that is part of what makes this game so great. You know, things can be good, but not unbeatable. And, you know, I hope you see now why skipping Sticky Napalm is the only way to play Batrider, and I hope 
and have a great day.